You wrote a great book called Blood Pressure Down, lowering your blood pressure in four weeks without prescription drugs. Correct. And one of the most interesting aspects of that was that you have foods in there that you recommend that you add in to your diet to lower blood pressure. And I never think about food and blood pressure except what raises your blood pressure. So right. let's talk about those power foods that you, you suggest people use to lower their blood pressure. Well, I based those foods on a study that's called the DASH diet study, which is actually quite famous. And it was done uh, in Washington, D.C. And I believe that they used, they showed that a, a diet containing certain foods with certain minerals, I call it the mineral diet, was able to lower blood pressure to the same degree as a medication for lowering blood pressure. So I was like, whoa, I need to write about this. And I call it kind of the mineral diet because there's three minerals that are all effective in lowering your blood pressure. And those would be potassium, calcium, and magnesium. So basically what I do in my book is recommend foods that are extremely high in those three minerals. So what are your favorites that are high in those minerals? Okay, so potassium, there would be lots of foods that people don't think. People know bananas. Right. So of course my one of them is bananas, but there's also a quite a few other foods mm -hmm. that are super high and I actually have cut out lists in the back of the mm -hmm. book that people can carry around. Right. S foods super high in potassium, super high in magnesium, super high in calcium so that you can choose those wherever you are. So other examples of foods high in potassium would be melon, like who knew? Right. Um, cantaloupe and white beans and, and things like that. All right, and then calcium you have, you say yogurt's one of your power yes, foods. Yes, yogurt's number one. Right. So yogurt's a power right. food, but it would be fat free because we don't want the bad fats in dairy. Uh, but yogurt is a main source of, uh, of calcium in the American diet, so it's a beautiful food as long as you eat the non-fat version. So if somebody just adds these into their diet, and leaves everything the same, will their blood pressure go down or do they also have to take some things out of their diet? Salt in particular? Salt. Right. <laughs> I knew you were going right. to say that. Yes, they have to take salt out. And But actually, uh, the study uh, went on further to compare uh, not low sodium and the DASH diet without restricting salt and DASH diet with restricting salt. And they found that the DASH diet even without restricting salt, lowered blood pressure, but not to the same degree mm -hmm. as when you restrict salt. So if you want the biggest bang for your buck, you want to eat those power foods, and then you want to restrict the salt, and then you're good to go. Okay, a couple other surprising ones that you have in there. Dark chocolate. Yes. And why is that? That's because that's been shown to have uh, very powerful plant chemicals, which actually soothe the arteries. The anti-inflammatory anti aspects. Anti-inflammatory right. and all those polyphenols okay. and, and plant chemicals are very good for uh, soothing the arteries and lowering blood pressure, which has been shown in clinical trial. And how about soy, which has been a darling and then a devil? I am a soy advocate, mm -hmm. and I think it's really unfortunate that soy has gotten a bad rap because soy is truly the ultimate health food, and it is not, it does not cause cancer. Mm -hmm. It is good for the heart, it is good for the blood vessels. Most Americans die of cardiovascular disease. Most Americans should be eating a plant uh, protein as opposed to an animal protein for heart health, for blood vessel health. All right. Add those power foods in, yes. and we'll get those blood pressure down. Thanks so Great. much, Janet. Thank you. If you like what you saw today, come to BottomLineInc.com and see even more videos with Dr. Janet Bonbrill. And do me a favor, share it. Tell your friends about it because this is such important information. Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of men and women. We want the word out, and we want people healthy.